Could you explain what a variable is? Oh, all right. A variable is an object, feeling, event, idea, period of time, or any other sort of category you are trying to measure. How many types of variables are there? There are two types of variables. What are they? They are independent variable I, V, and dependent variable D, V. What is an independent variable I, V? An independent variable is precisely what it sounds like. It is a variable that can stand alone and is not changed by the other variables that you are trying to measure. For instance, someone's age might be an independent variable. Other factors, such as what they eat or drink, how much they go to school, how much they go shopping, how much video games they play, aren't going to change a person's age. In fact, when you are looking for some types of relationship between variables you are trying to see if the independent variable causes some kinds of changes in the other variables, or dependent variables, d, v. And what is a dependent variable, d, v? Just like an independent variable, a dependent variable, d, v, is just what it sounds like, and it is something that depends on other factors. For example, a final exam test score could be a dependent variable because it could be changed depending on a lot of factors such as how much you studied, how much sleep you got the night before you took a final exam test, or even how hungry you were when you took it. Generally when you are looking for a relationship between two things you are trying to explore what makes the dependent variable change the way it does. Several people have a problem remembering which is the independent variable I, V, and which is the dependent variable D, V. An easy way to remember is to insert the names of the two variables you are using in this sentence in a way that makes the most sense. Then you can figure out which is the independent variable and which is the dependent variable. To conclude, independent variable causes a change in dependent variable and it is not possible that dependent variable could cause a change in independent variable. For example, time that you spend studying causes a change in the final exam test score, but it is not possible that the final exam test score could cause a change in time spent studying. We see that time spent studying must be the independent variable and final exams test score must be the dependent variable because the sentence doesn't make sense the other way around. I got that now. Thank you so much for your explanation. My pleasure. Have a nice day.